why LA players found for you. Danny Stark pitching Omar Dahl. Dahl bunt, not so good. Stark catch, very good. Look at it again. Oh. It's a one zip Rockies lead at the point. They'll hang on to that. Bottom third, Gabe Kapler knocks one in the left. Brian Jordan kind of casually over there, doesn't get down. Gets under his glove, goes to the wall. Kapler a double. Next batter, Todd Help. Little bingo now, little hit, little hit, little bingo now. Huh, kid? Got it. Right through the gap. Kapler will score easily. Casual defense by the Dodgers hurting the Rocks up 2 0. Top four now, 4 0 in favor of the home team. Stark facing Paul LaDuca. LaDuca, the liner with Ben Petrick. He's got that Rick Dempsey slip and slide down. That's really good. I don't know if we've measured that up. It's Mike Powell esque, certainly. Top five. 5-0 Rock. Stark pitching to Mark Grizzolani. He lost one. Jason Romano trying to prevent some force damage out there. He's got Grizzolani bumming. Go to the dugout. Top six still 5-0. LaDuca more defense. Terry Shumper jumps up and gets that. Mama made him just tall enough. Still 5-0 Rocks. Top nine now, 7-1. Dion Fuentes to Sean Green. Pops one to shallow left. If you're going to have a 27th out, that's a good one to get. Petrick, Wampier racing for it. As you see, Petrick just beats his buddy. He's in there. Let's eat. Rocks win it with great defense. 7-1 is your final. So the Giants a chance to pick up the game. If they could beat San Diego, as you see, the Padre crowd all there in section 112 for this one. Barry Bonds destroys Padres pitching. They didn't mess with him. Walked him five times. A career best for Bonds. Now 85 plate appearances without a strikeout. In the fourth, Bonds on third. JT Snow up the middle. Davey Cruz up the middle. Up the middle enough. Got it. Flicks it over to second. You're out. That ends the inning. Runners are stranded. Top seven. Bases chucked for Reggie Sanders. Oh. Brandon Villafuerte, the pitcher, fielding his position well. Three more runners strand. Top nine, still 2-1. Trevor Hoffman in to close it. This is automatic unless you allow a leadoff single. Then Kenny Lofton lays it down, and Phil Nevin decides to throw it into right field. Should have eaten that one. Sean Dunstan advances to third. Lofton to second. Tying run on third. Next batter, it's a former driller. Rich Aurelia, and he smokes it. Giants out of the dugout, thinking they got a 3-2 lead. No, caught, but Dunstan easily tags and scores. We're tied at two, we'll go to extra innings. Bottom 10, Eugene Kingsale on third. Cesar Crespo, high chopper. Kingsale decides to stay put. Jeff Kent makes the out at first. Not very aggressive base running, and then Tom Lampkin pinch hitting. Now Kingsale decides to set sail for the plate. Not a wise move. Posed easily. Giants dodge the bullet, but later in the inning, when Lampkin at third and a couple out, Sean Burris up again in September and happy 22nd birthday. Cake for him. Game winning single. Lampkin scores. Padres take it 3 2. LA San Francisco start the day tied, finish it the same way. Tied. We pick things up. Top four Angels up 3 1. Man at first. Terrence Long at the plate. Back to Mickey Callaway who got the start on to second for one. On the first, not a double play. As a matter of fact, the Angels recorded no outs on this play because David Justice is at third. Rick Reed says David Eckstein never touched second. Now you'll see Rick Reed hop across second as the throw's coming in and will hop. Reed does not see Eckstein perhaps graze second base there, so Justice is on third, and perhaps Mickey Calloway was a touch rattled by that because next batter's Mark Ellis, base hit. 3-2 game, two batters later, the game's tied at three. Ray Durham, base hit. Ellis come on down, and the A's are up 4-3. Up 5-4, bottom seven. Mark Mulder protecting the lead. Alex Ochoa got it. The second home run as an angel for Ochoa who came over in a deadline day deal and he's a factor in the biggest game of the season for the Angels tied at five. In the eighth inning, pinch runner Sean Figgins at second, pinch hitter Orlando Palmero plates him and the Angels go ahead six to five. That's your score top nine. Troy Percival back to back games. So Mike Sosh is going to go with 31 year old rookie Brendan Donnelly who retired John Mabry and Miguel De Hada, but not Eric Chavez who busts out the whooping stick. 32nd home run of the season, ties the game and perhaps lets the Anaheim faithful know who's number one.
one, but we go to the bottom of the ninth. One out, Darren Erstad on second. David Exton facing Billy Kotchin. Erstad swipes third. 21st stolen base of the season, and he's 90 feet away from winning this game. Two outs now. Scott Spezio up, and he rips this one off the wall, and the Angels take the last three games of this exciting four-game set and win 7-6. And we are now tied atop the American League West. The A's and Angels both 91 and 55. The A's go home to face the Mariners. The billion in that handshake? At least. And most of it is Jackie, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Top first, Chan Ho Park facing John Olerud. Olerud doubles down the right field line. Ichiro. And Desi Relevant score. Mariners lead 2 0. Now watch this fan in the crowd. Give it his all trying to. Uh, see, that's got to hurt. This fan shows him how it's done. And he avoids. Hitting the lady in the noggin with the ball. Stand up, sir. You're on baseball tonight. <laughs> okay, your moment of glory is over. Sit down. This guy just looks... They, I think they had a fight. They're getting through it. Fifth inning transition is where they got past their differences. Bottom of the fifth, Herbert Perry facing James Baldwin with a runner on second. Advantage, Herbert. How often do you say that? Perry, an RBI double into the right field corner. On the play, Rafael Palmero score. The Rangers go up by a score of 6-2. to two. We move ahead to the bottom of the sixth. It's 7-3 Rangers. Bases loaded. It's Baldwin and Perry again. It's deja video. This time, Perry goes the other way. Shot to third. Relaford flashing the lever. Dives and throws him out of first. Brooms out in Arlington as it's the first time they were swept. The Mariners in Arlington since 1986. 7-3 your final. Chan Hope Park wins his fifth straight. First time in 10 years the Mariners have been swept by Texas. They're Carlos Hernandez with two on, and Martinez off Hernandez. The hole in right. Albert Pujols will come in to score. Jason Lane throws out Scott Rowland at third, and Scott Rowland's not happy, Tim. It's two assists in this game for Jason Lane, but uh, Scott Rowland said my foot got in there, and I think he was right. And here's the runners at the corners, one out, third inning. Pujols hits a ball to right field, and Jim Evans is on first on this play now. I don't think he was running on this play, but he certainly didn't get back to first, and I'm not sure if Jason Lane was throwing that ball to the plate, and Bagwell just happened to be the cutoff man who stepped on the bag, but we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say he recognized Edmonds was off the bag and threw him out. Good play by Jason Lane. Three two cards in the eighth. Dave veers to Craig Biggio, and Princeton could use a man like Biggio as 14th to tie the game at three. Still bottom of the eighth. Jose Vizcaino off Mike Crudell, and Vizcaino over the wall and gone a three-run shot his fifth of the year and that was the difference a huge win for the astros keep in mind astros and cards come your way friday on espn astros win at six to three the cards eight game winning streak over jose vescano fifth home run this year that ties a career high houston has won six of eight and the lead in the nl central is cut Pena, will it work out I don't know. What he is, Trey, is the first man born in 1982 to hit a major league homer. That is so depressing. You have to stop saying that. His first career home run, the Reds down 6-3. We're just getting started in this game. Todd Hundley takes it deep to left, and Willie Mopena, say hey, maybe, makes a nice grab, keeps the score 6-4. A little bit of Willie Mays. Willie was a little more graceful, perhaps. We're, we're taking he ran a little artistic license. To catch that. Yes. Bottom six, 7-5 Cubs. Jason Lurie was shot to right. Sammy Sosa, a brutal dive. Sammy showing the leather, and that'll probably leave on Aoi later. Top eight, Reds up 11-9. Bobby Hill, runner on second. Hill to left. Jose Guillen, I have no idea. Mike Mahoney scores. It's ruled a single. Cubs down 11-10. Hill would later score to tie it. Bottom eight, Cubs up 12-11. Reggie Taylor. At the plate, and Kyle Farnsworth throws a wild pitch. Guillen makes up for the gaff to tie the game at 12. The next batter is Todd Walker. And if it's possible to break open a 12-12 game, Mr. Walker has just done it. Shot to left, clears the bases. Three come in. And the Cubs, for the sixth time this year, score 12 runs. And for the first time, they lose. At second time this year, they've scored five runs in the top of the first and lost the game. They're the first team since the 1980 Oakland A's to get 22 hits in a game and lose. And this is the 38th time this year that a team has scored 10 runs in a game and lost. That used to happen, Trey, four or five times a year. 38 times this year. A weekly occurrence. Meanwhile, the Mets and Expos, and boy, I had seven people on hand to watch this one. Top seven, Toma Oka to Jeremy Burnett's Advantage Burnett's. Yeah, he's had a terrible year. Everybody knows that. But one thing is, he's played hard through the whole thing, and that doesn't do much for Met fans. But this now, first multi-homer game of the year for Burnett's, and this one.
one is hit very high and very deep. Yes, it was, in fact. His first multi-home run game of the show. It's anytime you can hit the Maple Leaf in Canada, odds are things are going pretty well for you. And the Mets go on to win this one 8-2. Jason Middlebrook wins his Mets debut. New York has won 9 of 11 after losing 17 of 20. And I misspoke. There were more than 57 there. There were actually 4,147 there, many disguised as empty seats. Meanwhile, Marlins and Phillies, just because Marlon Bird played bottom second, no score, and Marlon Bird, deep out and gone, and that's not coming back. His first Major League home run, one nothing Phillies, and Marlon has shed some weight, hasn't he? Yes, and he's a top prospect, and we'll see where he fills in that outfield situation the next couple years. Well, if you can drop some weight, you can make running Bird catches like that off Luis Castillo, and the Phillies go on to win the game, the final 6-1. to one. Kevin Millar, though, has his second 18 hitting streak of the season in defeat. Phillies lead the NL with 39 triples. At one point, they had two back-to-back -back in part three. <laughs> Top nine, 3-2 Devil Rays. Esteban Yan in to close or not. Cliff Floyd a liner. Steve Cox makes the catch, but he's not quick enough to get Ricky Henderson. He's still fast. Two batters later, same score, bases loaded. Carlos Bayerga to shallow left. Chris Gomez, this is Tampa Bay Devil Rays baseball. Drops it, then throws home. Cox tries to cut it off. Noma will score. We're tied at three. And, well, Tim, what happened? Well, this is a tricky play. The ball's spin in the opposite direction, but Chris Gomez has got to catch this ball, and this is what's happened to the Devil Rays virtually all season, especially when the Red Sox are in town. The Red Sox are 10-0 this year at Tropicana Field. It's the best record anyone's had in an opposing ballpark since the 54 Indians swept the Red Sox at Fenway 11 games in a row. Still top nine tied at three. That's Trot Nixon into the gap in right center. Two-run score. Red Sox get four runs in the ninth to give Boston the sweep. Six to three. Now, before their ninth inning barrage, the Sox managed just four hits. Jan Blue is AL leading eighth save and 25 chances. And Tails, or at least what's left of him, he's down a couple of teeth. Top second, Jeff Conine, and who's the U-boat commander? Deep to left, a solo home run for Jeff. His 14th of the year, the O's up 1-0. Wells is not going to smile because he's unhappy about the home run, and he's missing a couple of teeth. Orioles up 1-0, and Sean Douglas nails Jason Jambi. That's going to leave a mark. He would leave the game. X-rays negative. He's day-to-day. -day. Three batters later, Rondell White doubles to right center off Sean Douglas. How dare you hit my teammate? Derek Jeter and Jason Jambi score. Center fielder's got to take charge there. Melvin Morris saw Matos coming over, and he said, I don't know about this, but he's got to catch that ball, period. Yeah. Right about there, I think we saw him. Next batter, Nick Johnson. Now, Nick Johnson is strong because he falls down at the plate, and he still hits it out. That's going to leave a mark. A three-run shot, his 15th, 5-1 Yankees. They go on to win 7-3, so the Yankees' magic number for clinching again is now 8. American League, Twins and Indians, Minnie's magic number is three, bottom seven, Indians down 3-1. J.C. Romero comes with the bases loaded, and Omar Vizquel, the power hitting Omar Vizquel, deep to left center, driving in three runs, his 27th doble of the season. Indians take a 4-3 lead, top nine, Twins down 5-1. Then he Baez pitching, Christian Guzman hits it to second. John McDonald fields the double play depth, saves the tying run. Bobby Kelty out at the plate here, Tim. Really good play by John McDonald. He's an excellent defensive player, great hands, and a great play there. Next batter is Corey Koski, and he strikes out, and the Indians win 5-4. to four. The magic number remains at three. White Sox and Royals, Maglio Ordonez facing Miguel Asensio. Ordonez pops it up, and the ball's just going to bloop in fair. Jose Valentin comes in to score, one up in Chai Sox. Top five, three one, Carlos Lee facing Asensio with no one on, and that's not coming back. Into the bullpen, a solo, his 24th tying his career high, 4 1 White Sox. Top seven, still 4 1. Ordonez versus Asensio, and we have Deja Video. It's it just out of the reach of Angel Barroa in the left. Valentin scores again, 5 1 Sox. RBI 118 for Maglio, 2 for 5, 2 RBI. White Sox win it, 5 to 1.